I was going to go thrifting. I had this cute black and white outfit all picked out. I was going to wear my Prada shades and I was going to go walk and I was going to go to my local thrift store. But it started thunder and lightning and raining. So let's go take a look at the rain. Whenever I get a chance to get a, a, a men's biker shirt, I will get it. I sure will. I love it. And I got on my printed cropped tee with all the beautiful queens up there. And it looks like a printed black paper. And I have on my white shorts. I'll show a picture right here so you can see. I thought I was cute today. I thought I was going to go out and be cute today. Maybe somebody say, hey, babe, what's up? I'll be like, hey. <laughs> No matter what age you are, when you meet somebody new, you turn into that teenager. Hey! <laughs> anyway, so, I got a few things. You know when I get something in, I like to show it to you. And I did a um, TikTok video, which you will probably see next week. I did a TikTok reel, not a video. I did a TikTok reel showing a few of my, just three of my colorful blazers my what three of my favorite blazers i got right now uh outside of sequence but these are my colorful blazers so let's go through that and then i'm gonna take you i'm gonna sit down and we going to look at some other things i got in and then i'm gonna read you a scripture for today so if you don't want to hear a devotion and you just want to see the fashion or the new ends, then stay for that. But if you want to have just a little devotion in your life, wait to the end. Okay, guys? Okay. So, let's get started. If you have been following me for a while, if you are an OG follower, you've seen this blazer a lot. I am so proud of myself, guys. I went and got this blazer from a thrift store and it was Goodwill. And I was like, I went past it like three or four times and I was like, okay, it's too much going on. That's before I got really into color. I said, it's too much going on. But then I went back and I picked it up. And I, I don't, at first I thought that maybe somebody made this just for themselves, but I'm gonna tell you a little story. So, um, look at all the intricate details. The sleeves is lace. And look at the sleeves. Oh, the the um the sleeves, look at the uh design in it. And then you have the lapel. And the lapel has uh another design. And it each one of them is a different fabric. It's like having a vintage, uh, just a vintage, it's like having all your vintage, beautiful, different fabrics all together. And it is by Dalen, and it is 76% uh, cotton, 20% polyester, and it's got, uh, what is that? And it's got nylon. So the nylon is this part. And then in the back, you got the lapel in the middle. Then you got the black and white design. But then they say, wait, I'm going to, I'm going to hit the back again. And I'm going to put these beautiful, gorgeous flowers. Now, don't get it twisted. All this go together. It's everything. Do you understand me? This blazer is everything. I paid $10, and it was $9.99 for this blazer. I paid $9.99. And I walked past it several times, and then I got it. 
I've had it a couple of years. And I, you know, I like looking at my live sales, right? So I went on a live sale and one of the sellers was selling this blazer. And she sold this blazer. Are you ready? Are you ready? She sold this blazer for like $60. And I know that she's a thrifter. And I know she, at, at the most, she paid $9.99. And she might've got a half price sale and paid $4.50. So try your thrift store first. Try your thrift store first. Because now I'm thinking I might've got a half off too. I'm thinking I might've got a half off. Look at the, look at the details. Look at that. So this blazer is everything. Look at the buttons. Look at the buttons. And when I saw people bidding on it, I was like, girl, you better go back to, you. don't stop thrifting. Don't stop thrifting. So anyway, so I wore this with my black um, Zara top and Zara skirt. That's the first Zara set I've ever bought where I bought the top and the skirt. And I just love that Zara set. Now, you know it was sold separate. They won't sold together. And because you don't, you need all black. I'm telling you right now. The best way to me to wear this, this is with all black. Um, not even a bright color. And I'm going to tell you why I would never wear a bright color with this. Not even a pink, not even a blue. Because what I notice is anytime you bring one of these colors in, it, it I don't know. I don't like the way it looks. Now, I would wear it with all white or all black. And I put the white sandals on instead of black pumps because I wanted to make it a, still a little more summer but say you had to put a blazer on because you was going indoors or you was going to an event and you knew it was going to be cold and you didn't want to have your arms out. So this blazer and that, and this is a, a beautiful blazer. This blazer is so gorgeous. It, it doesn't even do it justice looking at the blazer like that. This blazer is beautiful. Look at the beautiful colors. The plays on the blue and the actually, depending on how you're looking at it, this is blue, green, yellow, and it has the yellow. The, the but the thing that makes it so special, not only is it vintage, not only is does it have your dramatic shoulders, and it is by Chris Coney of New York. Chris Coney, I think that's it, of New York. And I got it in an extra large, but don't forget vintage stuff, It can, an extra large can be a large or a medium. And what I love about it, look at, do, can you see the little crystals that's in the blazer? See, this is a blazer that you have to have see up close to appreciate. Do you see the crystals? So beautiful, so beautiful. And I wore it with, so I dressed it down and I wore it with a t-shirt and my jeans I got from H&M um, Men's Relax. So I wanted it oversized. I wanted it. I just love the way the men's jeans fit. Try the men's jeans sometimes. Especially when you want a baggy, oversized look. And I love the way the knees was distressed and just, and I just love the way this just hangs off. So, especially if you put this on with a bodysuit by itself, just a bodysuit, your bag, your pumps, and you can go. And I, the pumps I decided to wear with them is my yellow Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, I'm sorry, these are my yellow Manolo Blahniks. And um, these, the, the yellow, this goes with anything and everything. 
especially when you're wearing pants. These shoes look so good in pants. And the yellow is everything. And I wore it with that because I didn't want to put, I didn't want to wear green. I didn't want to wear green, I didn't want to wear blue. So I said, you know what? I, the yellow looks so good with that, I think I will wear the yellow. So I wore the yellow. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So the last one, I went a little out of my comfort zone. I'm going to show you the blazer in a minute. But I got these pants from H&M. And those, these are the pants that look satin, uh, cargo pants. And they they made to be really big. And, honey, I'm, all, I'm already chunky. Okay, I didn't know if I really wanted to have something that made me even chunkier. But I'm going to tell you why I bought them. I bought them to wear in the, I bought, I bought them to wear in the fall and um you know when you can bring out your boots right before it's cold but it's still you know uh boot weather really i'm gonna tell you something to me boot boot weather to me is all year round so you can wear your booties in the spring and in in the summer before it get blazing hot and then you can bring your boots out to wear in the evenings as soon as fall hit you know you got that fall weather and I'm gonna wear them with some black boots, but I wanna tuck this part into my boot and have this. So I got a vision of these. And so I was a little out of my comfort zone because they were so big. But I thought it looked so nice with my newest blazer. Introducing her. This blazer is a vintage blazer by Lie, I don't know, child. Um, but look at this blazer. These colors is everything. You can wear this blazer and bring out so many colors out of this blazer. I can put on all purple, all red, all black, all white, all blue. This one, because all of, unlike my blazer with the pink and the black and white and all the different materials, the reason why I will only wear that with one solid black or white is because it already has so much going on and it's different all over the blazer. This blazer looks the same, like the pattern is the same all over and it is just gorgeous and it would look good belted. It would look good um, with any outfit. So you will be seeing this throughout the remainder of the time look on my instagram don't forget to follow me here on instagram tiktok instagram reels grandma is everywhere so go check me out so the reason why i love this blazer too is look at the buttons the buttons have fabric that goes with the blazer and it gives you that versace look so this blazer right here, mm, you will be seeing it. It is everything. And I brung out to wear it with my um, Steve Madden um, spike uh, heels. That's like, like the uh, Valentino heels. Um, so it's a play on it, but without the price. So you will be seeing these fall. Time. So it's time to bring these shoes out as well. And these are real gorgeous. They feel real good too. They are really, really comfortable. So that is, guys, that's my outfits. I wore my favorite blazers and how I would style it. So now let's zoom over to my couch and we are going to talk about some stuff I got new in. So meet you over there. Okay, we back. So I'm sitting on my couch, so you see me a little lower this time. What y'all been up to, guys? What have y'all been up to? Uh, let's see. Uh, what shows have I been watching? Well, uh, for Netflix, I've been watching uh, Sandman. I just got through from looking at that series. And it starts off very slow, but give it a chance and you will see. Why am I playing with my hair? Give it a chance. My sofa is very low. Give it a chance and you will 
see that it has some very good parts. Like I said, it starts off slow. So I'm waiting for the Rings of Power. Uh, something about power. It's a spinoff from the Lord of the Rings. So I'm waiting for that. On Prime, I just got through from looking at uh, Samaritan with Sylvester Stallone as like a, a kind of like a superhero. It is really cute, guys. It is really cute. You should go watch it. I was like, oh, Sylvester. And he looks so cute with his little gray beard and everything. And he's not trying to be, you know, it's not trying to be a Marvel superhero. It is a... Uh, uh, it is really a good movie, and I think I'll watch it again um, because when I was watching it, you know how you watch it, but then you like doing other things because you figure you might not like it. So I was watching it and doing other things, and then I was like, oh, this is a really cute mute. Mm. Is it ever going to be a chance that I say the words right? I'm telling you. I'm coming up on 60 in a spirit of a minute. And it just, it, it, it does not like for me to be great. But anyway, um, so I was like, this is such a cute movie. So go watch those guys. It was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Okay, so let me tell you some of the things I got in. So first, you know I got something from Amazon. Don't play. So what I got from Amazon is I just got me a new coffee maker and I got me a, a cause my espresso machine broke and I did not have that espresso machine. I don't even think a year and a half and a little mechanism and it broke. And I was like, see, they made this just long enough for the manufacturer's warranty. New coffee maker from Amazon. I put it right here. I don't feel like going to the kitchen. And it is a one-person coffee maker. And when I tell you it make the best iced coffee, I haven't been back to Starbucks. I have not. I'm not even going to tell you how much money I've saved. It makes the best iced coffee. And I got these little samples of, um, you know how you put the syrup, like uh, the syrup that even the syrup Starbucks use, all of them use syrup. Uh, for the flavor and I got some of that when I tell you baby whether it's hot coffee but my iced coffee it be on point so check those two items out so you know I had to give me a new coffee cup <laughs> we so crazy right we always got to get something new so here's the coffee cup but I'm gonna show it to you I couldn't wait Look at this little glass. I just wanted to make me just a cute little coffee in this little teeny coffee thing. And um, when I make one, I'm gonna make sure that I put on my Instagram story so I can make me a cute little coffee. And I just, I always wanted to drink coffee out of a little glass instead of a, a cup. And I wanna see how it works. So it's a set of two, so I'll clean them real good and I will make sure. So follow me on Instagram so you can see my Instagram story of how I make that coffee. Um, next is, okay, so you know how we all look at YouTubers, right? And I'm talking about YouTubers that do it for a living, okay? Not like me where I come up here and I'm nowhere near trying to start having more people I'm good I, it doesn't matter to me one way or another because I do this as like a hobby and you know I have a career I'm good put it that way so and I know they always there once you become a youtuber where you making money and that's your life to make the money off of YouTube or Instagram or wherever you're doing it you have to, you, it's no way you can stick to one brand, you know, unless you never get a sponsorship from that brand and that is a brand you truly like. But when it comes to skincare and they flip and they flop and they say, this one work, this one work, this, I can't, no, I can't mess with that. And it all depends on your skin because we all, 
we don't have the same skin. We don't. And I have never had acne. So I've been blessed that I have never had really bad skin, but I have pigmentation, which means my I have dark, I have, for one, my birthmark is on my face and I have dark around my uh, eyes. So I may not have acne or anything, but I do have that. And that is something that is a part, genetically a part of me. So it's not like something that will just go away with a product. But I still like my skin to feel good and moisturized and nice. And when I tell you I have finally found something now i'm talking about people who don't need to put all that acid stuff on their face and all these chemical things on your face you just want something that makes your face feel good when you wash your face and keep it moisturized ladies and gentlemen men should take care of their skin too i don't even know what to say about this all i'm glad all i'm saying is i'm glad i found it and it's ten dollars right here ten dollars and i'm about to go buy another bottle because i don't trust nobody to run out it's called you know i gotta put my glasses on because i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all mm. see now i can see you i can see you better too all right so it's called skin lab and it's the rose water mist and it is Moroccan oil, coconut oil, and botanical extracts. So go look it up on Amazon. When I tell you I will never put anything else on my face. So once I wash my face, guys, and if you don't, you know, some of us are working from home. Like, I work back and forth. So, you see me going to office and then I might be home depending on, you know, my training schedule. But I don't, if you don't wear makeup every day and you're not out there in that world getting all that, all the chemicals that's floating around all on your face, you don't have to, to me, and this is just me, I don't like washing my face every day because with, with, I don't like washing my face every day with a face wash if it's not necessary i would just put some warm some very not even warm i love hot showers like hot so i will put some hot water on my face and then i will spray my rose water on my face and i don't wipe it in i don't put my hands on it when i spray it on and I spray it on my neck as well. When I spray it on, I just spray it and let it dry by itself. I don't put my hands on it at all. So when I see people put stuff that they spray on, then pat it in. What are you patting it in for? You just taking it and putting it on your hands. So I let it dry and I didn't pay no attention. I said, I'm gonna try this, see what it feel like. I didn't pay no attention. I say maybe the sixth day or the sixth time I put this on, my skin, my face felt so soft. I'm telling you, I was like, what? I just happened to touch, you know how you just touch your face? And I was like, wow, I felt my skin different. I have never felt my face feel like this. And I and I put it on my neck too. Um this, I don't mm, mm I ain't buying nothing else ever. Well, do you understand me? Ever. This is everything. And they have the moisturizer as well for your skin. Like, you know, um, if you got really dry skin and you need moisture, um, it on your face or your skin they have that and i'm gonna try that next so but this i already put it in the cart in the moisturizer in the cart because baby and you know i don't come up here with no whole bunch of skin stuff but that right there i love my face i love the way my face feel love it okay so before i get into jewelry which is 
just love these earrings. I keep being scared that they're gonna get dirty or makeup on them. But um, I got a new bag. <laughs> Look at this little, I, you know I thrifted it um, from Alive. <laughs> Is this bag not cute? Is this not the cutest little bag? I just, it's a Nine West, and I've showed y'all a Nine West bag before that look just like all these bags that be coming out. But this is the cutest fall bag. And I would wear it now with a, like a cute little cream outfit or something. This little, this is so adorable. I cannot wait to wear this with something. Yep, I got this off alive. Sure did. 10 bucks. I just love it. I'm telling you, bags from, and I know Nine West is still around, yes, but these are been, these are bags from a long time ago, not now. Not what they have now. And I'm telling you, the quality of how they made things is ridiculous. And this bag doesn't, now I got it stuffed, so let me show you. So when you open it, look at that. And I'm beginning to think, um, did the people, so what you got it and said, I don't like it and took it back. And uh, I mean, not took it back, but said, mm, I just take that to the thrift store. I don't wear these things no more. So I got this thrifted as well off of a live. And I thought it was just the cutest thing. Look at this necklace. This is what you call one of them pop necklaces that if you got it on and some cute earrings and um, a cute little, just even a basic white t-shirt and you have this on, just cute. Just so adorable. So I got that necklace. So you will see me with that on. My braids are going on, um, I got these braids June 28th. June 28th is now August. And I got dry shampoo. My hair, my hair can, my natural hair can go so long without being washed. It doesn't have a smell. It has its own, you know, its own oil. It, the longer I go, the better. But because I got this foreign hair in it, you know, that's not real hair, what I do is I buy dry shampoo and I take dry shampoo and I will spray the roots of my hair. Cause you don't have to spray this hair. Is, is you know, it's, it's a synthetic. So I spray my hair, so I spray the roots really good, and I take a wet, a uh, hot um, cotton uh, wash rag, and I just wash my hair that way, instead of wetting my hair. Um, and, and then I mist it, this hair, once my hair is dry, I mist this with my um, Chanel mist and wrap it up in a bonnet, baby, baby. These braids, these braids smell like you come up and try to smell my hair. You be like, what's nice? Yes, and that's how I make my braids last so long. Yep. Okay, so. Let's talk about some of the earrings. So these earrings, I love these earrings on a coworker. On a, what's wrong with me, Jesus? I noticed these. Wait, yeah, I noticed these earrings on a coworker, and I said, "Those are so cute." And you know, you be like, "Can I have those? Can I have it out your closet? Can I have it?" You know, we'll say that in a minute. And she bought me a pair. And aren't they cute? This is one of those ones that when it's hot outside, you want to have a little bling, you wear these. 
so they are so cute I just really like them and I haven't bought them out yet because these are the earrings I'm waiting to go on my cruise and wear yep because they just look vacation-y to me so these are some ones I bought off of um, one of the ladies that I follow on Instagram where she get these handmade and they are just so cute and then I got three pair earrings from someone that I recently started following so I wanted to show you each one so her name is her business is trash to treasure but it's spelled like this and I will put the Instagram right here. And all her earrings come packaged like this. And, and it's so cute because the inside she has a little thank you. So packaging is everything. So let me show you the first pair that I got. And I ain't warm because I wanted to unpack them here first. Look at these green swirl earrings. Look at these. So pretty. Can you imagine this with a, mm. yes. So I got that one and I haven't even wore these yet. I didn't want to wear them until I unboxed them up here. And let me get these all nice and right. Look at this one, baby with the green and the black and white child please please if this was a black and white outfit i was wearing i would wear these in a pair of green because i got a green pumps that look that i got from zara that is the exact color the exact color and i would have me on a black and white outfit mm. so you're going to see me style those let me put my earring back in because I'm looking crazy. And these earrings are not heavy. You would think they would be heavy. They're not. And then the last ones. Mm. Hold up. Let me get it together again. Because these ones, I don't know how I got this sitting here. There we go. Look at these. I plan on getting me quite a few from her. Look at these. So this one has the pink and the green, but the pink and the green is in the swirl of the top of the earring, but each earring got the green and the pink. And I'm mad because I could only get the one she had in because baby, the ones that I really wanted, she didn't even have in. So you're gonna see a few pair from her. And the last thing I got is from Amazon. Guys, go get you a pack of the soft things that go in the back of your earring. You know, the little, the little plastic ones, the silicone little ear back pieces that is that on earrings now, a lot of earrings have the little silicone piece. That way you don't have to have, if you lose a back piece, it's like, I don't even know how many this is, but I put it next to here. I think it's 500. You will never have an earring back piece problem. Take some to work, keep some in your desk, take some in your, always has a little pouch that you carry around as one of your accessories in your bag. That way you can always put your, you will have a back for your earring. As long as it keeps your earring from coming off, it doesn't have to be a gold big or none of them big plastic ones in the back. You can put one of these and carry these everywhere. So that is one of the other things I got as well. Split second judgment. Oh boy. By the grace given to me, I say to every, everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. 
but to take but to think with sober judgment each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned this is Romans 12 3 so stop thinking of yourself highly than you think of others others all about judging somebody have you ever felt like you were split second judged you ever walked in a room and you like did they just look at me up and down or you walk into some place and somebody stare at you and you like you don't know me so why are you looking at me like that and you think or even um you feel like you judged even when you uh like say you take your child to the doctor you think they judging you if something's wrong with your child so that's the thing we feel as mothers we be like i know they think it's something i'm doing or it's something i did to make you know your child may be sick have an upset stomach tripped and fell and hurt themselves and you know you thinking somebody judging me because i know they think i did this that split second judgment that you think people place on you you had an encounter it didn't go as planned and immediately you felt less than ideal that's judgment from another person from a, a job a woman your manager your friend judgment period we desire grace for ourselves when we are having a bad day but it's, it's so easy to forget to extend that same grace to others. Maybe we've done it for so long that we don't realize we are doing that. Maybe if you're the one judging somebody else. So do you judge people? Do you think, did I just judge that person because maybe they came in late? Or maybe they were running late and I'm like, look at her. She don't even care coming in here all late but anything could have happened to make that person late or thinking somebody came to an event and maybe they don't look as dressed as you think they should be not everybody got money and they did the best they could you judge sometimes and it may be a split second that you are judging somebody and then you think wait a minute that ain't none of my business or you just let the thought come and then the thought go away but we find that we be judging people just like people be judging us. That split second judgment. Here's what we need to remember. We are the same. We are children of the most high God, precious, beautifully made in his image. We belong to Jesus. Let us ask God to give us heart to, hearts to see others for who they are, siblings. And remember, they are nothing less than we are. So, even when you don't mean to judge, you do it. Think about it. So, if we think positive about each other and we value ourselves, we will learn how to value others and not to put that split second judgment because it's still a judgment, even a split second one. Okay, guys, I'm not going to keep you. Don't forget, come back. Like, subscribe if you want. You don't have to. Just come back and visit Grandma and follow me on all my social medias. Bye, guys.